What's up guys? Chris. So, I've got to do some work at my parents' house, and I realized that I don't have a toolbox. Uh, a lot of times I just load stuff up in plastic bags, and uh, you know, things fall out, the bags tear, whatever. So, um, I've got a leftover sheet of three-quarter inch maple plywood. And, I mean, it's expensive, but it's leftovers, and I don't have much else to do with it. So, out of this leftover piece, we're going to make a quick uh, little toolbox. So, all I've got, this guy's three feet long, uh, and about 13 inches wide, and we're going to make an entire toolbox out of just this. Uh, it's going to be a very simple craftsman style toolbox, and uh, we'll run through it pretty quickly. So, we're going to hop over on the saw, make these initial cuts, and then we're going to come back and put it together. Alright, so you could very easily just uh, you know, butt join these guys together if you wanted to go really quick, you know, just uh, butt join them, screw them together. We're going to make it a little bit stronger and we're actually going to wrap it all the edges in and we're going to wrap it the bottom in. Uh, so we just need to make a couple cuts like that. If you're curious, this is uh, the Nick Ferry inspired cross cut slid. It's a great sled. Uh, if you're interested, head over to his YouTube, Nick Ferry's uh, channel, and then there's links to his website with the plans available for this guy. All right, so once you get the saw set up for rabbiting, what I like to do, when all these pieces are a lot, a lot similar, I kind of mark them so I can see where all of my rabbits need to go. And so those are the two side pieces the long sides. So the short side piece is still one solid piece, but I know uh, that it only is going to need it here on these ends. Okay, because this is ultimately what will be our side piece. Uh, side piece. Anyways, so I'll just quickly, it's not an accurate measurement, it's just a mark, and then those rabbits will be cut and then we can come back when we determine how high these need to be and cut in half. So I already got the saw set up to make the first of the two rabbiting cuts and then we'll adjust the, the fence and the blade and hit the rabbits on out. Alright, so all of our pieces are cut. I um, went ahead and cut the bottom panel. And basically that, that, that length is the length inside the rabbits here plus the thickness of the side rabbits. Alright, so in this case, these were 5 sixteenths. And this was 16 and, three, 16 and 3 16ths, okay? So 
double that, that's 10 sixteenths. So 16 and um, 13 sixteenths is what this needed to be. So we're going to put this together with uh, nails and glue first, and then we're going to come back after it's held together and uh, put some screws in it. So it needs to go together for me upside down because I left these rabbits a little bit longer than the thickness of the panel. I don't know if you can see that or not, but basically that's going to give me a foot the whole way around and recess this bottom panel in. So just a little bit of glue in this rabbit. On this side. And what I do is I take this side piece and we're going to uh, line up the bottom with one of these. So I know I'm exactly where I need to be at. I'm just going until I'm flush over on this side. using your phone as a camera phone calls so anyways I'm just gonna go until this is flushed up here at the bottom I know that one's good so I can go ahead and tack that in place Just a couple of nails, front, back, and middle. Don't need a ton of them. Just enough to hold it secure for right now. <clears throat> Do the same thing with this guy. go just that quickly you got a nice solid tool tote and that thing is not going anywhere it's incredibly solid and now we're gonna bring it up and we're gonna shore up a little bit more so Alright, so we're set up for this now. Uh, countersink bit, <clears throat> impact, and then I'm going to be using um, some Craig jig screws. These are inch and a quarter for uh, plywood, and I use these because I have an overabundance of them realistically, and they're honestly not that expensive in comparison to a regular box of screws. And yeah, they're silver. So they look kind of pretty when uh, they're exposed. So we'll run to the sides here, pop about five on each side.
voila. One tool tip. Quick, easy, maybe 15 minutes worth of work. All right, the only thing we're gonna do now, just to make this a little more uh, user friendly, obviously we're missing something, right? Uh, how are we gonna carry this thing? So, my quick, easy fix to that. I've just got a random, I don't even know, this is probably like 5 sixteenths. This is going to be our pilot bit. We're going to take our square and just find something that looks about right. I mean, I'm not even too awful concerned about being perfect here. So what I'm actually going to end up doing is taking some paracord and run it through these holes and that paracord will be my um, handle. So there you go. The whole point behind this was it doesn't have to be super fancy. I've made fancy. Um, if you get on my Instagram, you can see a dovetailed toolbox that I built for uh, my father-in-law. Yeah, it's super fancy. It's wood burned. All the joints are dovetailed. It's made of uh, pine and walnut. It's very pretty. This is usable. You know, this is this can carry large tools. It can carry, you know, my hammers. Whatever else I want to throw in here that you know I need to take with me anywhere. It fits it all. And three quarter inch maple with glue and screws, it's not gonna come apart, it's not gonna flex, it's not gonna bend. I can take everything I want with me right there. So, <clears throat> go have fun, build something, make something. Uh, it's not hard, not a lot of materials. That was three feet of um, plywood, three quarter inch plywood. Doesn't have to be maple, doesn't have to be oak. They didn't have to be birch, okay? You can just use some regular old three quarter inch plywood, some screws, uh, and some glue. I know I use a table saw. You could just as easily use a hand saw, a circular saw, anything of the sort, and get the same thing done. So, uh, any questions, comments, leave them down below. And uh, until next time, see you guys later.